And here we are in episode 3, Echidna talks about how she used to love the Windows XP wallpaper and stuff, I didn't know it was possible for someone to have thicker eyelashes than their eyebrows, live and learn. Subaru looks at her with an ass face, this is an ass face, no opening again the same in season 1. Anyway, they're talking when out of nowhere the grass becomes a Labrador drinking coconut water. Who's the good boy? Echidna invites Subaru to a fucking tea party. Where's the Spanish Inquisition when we need it? Subaru not only accepts it but drinks it like someone drinks a shot of tequila. Even Echidna is surprised by the stupidity of the main character. I see now, she's not related to Amelia, but to Anna from Shimonetta. Why are you so mad? You should be asking for another shot. Subaru says he's not impressed by her beauty, let's talk about it. I saw on Twitter a lot of people drooling for this gothic Amelia. To be honest I don't know how you guys can compare this witch with Amelia when she doesn't even have a pointy ear. What's the point in looking like the half-elf if you'll not have the most appealing feature? Then the table turns to pixie dust and even the grass is disappearing too. Oh my god, it's Thanos. The sky starts to crack and all that remains is the universe. Pretty metaphorical, isn't it? No matter how much you look for meaning in life, at some point, you're just farming seasonal anime. She makes anime girls using space dust, now we're f***ing talking. Of course, there's a damn lowly at the end of the universe. They go back to the windows and Subaru needs to change his pants. She tries to return to the subject. Subaru has an ice cream headache, that was a really weird tea. Can I ask you anything? Yes. Who's Rim? He shakes her like he's a dumbass, but actually this is just an excuse to touch her, pervert. Anyway, she's pretty embarrassed, it's supposed to be something cute, but her eyelashes look like old men mustache. Subaru asks to leave, as he has already asked everything important. She dances and makes waifu things, teas in Ray Zero or 35% alcohol. No jokes here, I just like this thing a lot. Echidna gets up, approaches Subaru, and licks her fingers. What actual the fuck? He can only think how irresponsible that attitude of hers is in this pandemic moment. The exit portal opens up and she pushes him. With the licked finger, fucking gross. Subaru leaves the dungeon and finds Otto dejected, sad, but predictable. Without realizing it, he is thrown, but Zero Two prevents another reset. Another blonde person with shark teeth, not that it's impossible it's just curious that it happened twice. He literally gives a judo blow to the alligator and faints it. This boy's the Garfield, Subaru offers a lasagna and now they're friends. On the way to the real sanctuary, Amelia wakes up. She gets up quickly to protect Subaru, more like she's going to hug someone against her will. Garfield explains that Amelia passed out because she has mixed blood, this information only cost two pizzas. They arrive at the sanctuary, it looks like those tiny war-torn cities in some Gundam show. I have a slight impression something illegal is going on here. Subaru and Amelia reunite with Pink Rem, has she been wearing maid clothes all this time? Well, I'm actually asking this question a little too late. The chauffeur goes away to park the carriage and, I don't know, do chauffeur things. They talk and Subaru feels very uncomfortable that she hasn't asked about the relevant Rem. I wanna mention that I love Rem's confused expression, it's like she had a stroke. Amelia tells him not to worry cause the audience will soon forget about her. They even got a new waifu, it should be Frederica, but it's Echidna. They go where Orochimaru is and it looks like he was just defeated by Sasako. Rosewall says that dungeon is where Echidna's soul is or something. He even doesn't like it when Amelia calls her the Witch of Greed. Haha, <laughs> is he simping over a dead lady? I think this is as close to the I have a waifu thing that Rosewall could get. Oh, they and all the other humans in that city are being held under house arrest. Shit happens. He opens the door but closes it after finding Ram giving a handjob to Rosewall. What the f*** am I even saying? Let me do it one more time please. Sharkboy enters the room and says a lot of shit with a smile on his face to look cool. Sorry pal, if you're name is Garfield, there's no way do you look cool. He also says that everyone's being fed properly. The local population doesn't have food for themselves, but somehow they can feed another group. Subaru goes into captivity and everyone's happy with his visit. Why would anyone be happy to see Subaru's face? Yep, yeah, this one fits better. The main character makes a speech and I can only concentrate on this weirdo with a dog nose. He's not even a beast human, he just bought a plastic nose at some fantasy store. Amelia gets in and they're even sadder now. Come on guys, I know she's not Ram, but still. These cunts are literally kidnapped and don't like Amelia trying to help them. Then Madara does a massacre with extras and everyone gets pissed. This elderly lady takes the floor and begins to address the 107 reasons why bingo should be an Olympic sport. She also talks about how it used to be better. Any futility was a reason for the country to build a pyramid in honor of the current pharaoh, and nowadays there are no more pharaohs, make Egypt great again. You look so much like her. Like Satella? No, like Cleopatra. Plot twist, Cleopatra is also a half-elf. Now it's Amelia who is speaking with a sad song in the background. She's not even talking about something that's sad, it's about when they tried to stone her as a child for being a half-elf. These people find the story quite funny. It's time to face the challenge of the sanctuary, the goddamn twelve temples. The building is even shining. Well, it was shining. It shines again, but Subaru is firm if he starts doing shit, he ends it, and finds her unconscious and faints too. In the dream, he meets his dad, his sugar daddy. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot. Also make a friend watch this video too. Use violence if necessary. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.